So you're join, joining us in early April. Uh, we're about to head out, uh, hopefully after a fallow cricket or two. Um, fallow season here in England ends at the end of March uh, for the females, but carries on until the end of April for the males. Um, some people like to try and wrap up all of the fallow cull by the end of March, uh, but we're under quite a bit of pressure uh, around here to, to try and reduce numbers quite dramatically. So we, we have to take uh, take full advantage of of the male season opening in, eight, in August or in uh, not finishing until the end of April. So we're going to head out uh, to a farm in Buckinghamshire. Um, we've just positioned a new two-man freestanding high seat um, that uh, has been in an area we haven't actually been able to store before because the land's, land's pretty flat um, and there's no sort of decent trees to, to strap a high seat to. So uh, hoping the deer up there are, are going to be pretty bold and, and sort of unaware of um, the dangers that might uh, might come their way at sort of dusk time. Um, so yeah, we're heading out. It's about sort of six o'clock now. So we'll um, we'll see what we see. So just culled this fallow pricket and so I've been a bit of mark on its shoulder there where I've dragged it across the uh, across the dirt to get it out in the middle of the field. Um, very near the end of this fallow season here so just trying to catch up with the last few that we can. Uh, so I got pleased to get another one in the bag. Uh, this one was taken from about 120 metres uh, from a freestanding high seat and um, very very lucky. It was very very uh, still, very content with feeding so I managed to head shoot it so it um, be a very nice clean carcass for us. There you go, hope you enjoy the footage. So hoping we caught all of that on camera. Um, it's beginning of April, um, so fallow doe season is over, um, but still enough time to sort of try and catch up with the last few few prickets and bucks that we need to try and thin out. Um, so we're on a farm here in Buckinghamshire. Um, we just put up a new two-man freestanding high seat uh, that was grant funded, which is really nice. Uh, we put it in a in a spot where we know there's quite a lot of fallow activity but at the same time it's not brilliantly disguised and you'll probably see on some of the footage a quite a large group of fallow came out but they knew we were there they knew the high seat I mean the high seat's been here about a week now but even still not quite sure about it um, really frustratingly there weren't actually that many males amongst the group uh, managed to see one who was actually quite a poor small looking pricket so a really good one for us to take uh, he wandered out about 120 metres away from us and managed to get a really good good headshot on him uh, and that was it, dropped to the spot uh, using again 110 grain 308 uh, copper bullets uh, so no no problems there uh, we just retrieved him, he's, uh, he's in the boot so we better get him back to the chiller and uh, thank you very much for watching guys